The topic is the three lords of the world. The three lords of the world refers to uh, the three most important of the uh, eight great bodhisattvas. Uh, so the three lords of the world, they're, they're grouped together as Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, and Vajrapani. Why are they grouped this way? Well, it's really hard to say. Some people have some theories, but um, I prefer to simply uh, go with the idea of the uh, a particular tantra from the Kriya classification. It's a tantra that's a general tantra that teaches different methods uh, and very general methods for the creation of mandalas and, uh, and deity yoga. And in this uh, tantra, called the uh, Sarva Mandala Samanya Vidinam Guya Tantra, and no, I don't say it very often, but it is a, a tantra that teaches a mandala, and the center of the mandala, at the center of the mandala is Manjushri, to one side is uh, uh, Avalokiteshvara, to the other side is Vajrapani. So we have this mandala, and this is uh, considered uh, an important entry level or an entrance mandala for Kriya Tantra. And Kriya Tantra, of course, is an entrance for Charya and Yoga, and then the fourth, the highest of the Yoga Tantras. So we have these three bodhisattvas, Manjushri, Lokeshvara, and Vajrapani. Uh, they are called the three lords of the world. Now, we have to be careful uh, with the Tibetan for this. Um, Rigsum Gompo. Rig is, uh, is sort of a, a race or family. Uh, um, Gompo is, Asum is three, and Gompo is lord. Um, so here it means the three lords of the families. Uh, the three lords of the world, three family lords of the world. It's re the three families is referring to the three different categories of Kriya Tantra. So it's referring to Tathagata, Padma, and Vajra. Manjushri is the main bodhisattva of the Tathagata family. Lokeshvara is the main bodhisattva of the Padma family. Vajrapani is the main bodhisattva of the Vajra family. So we have a mandala. We have these three bodhisattvas. And they are now, we call them bodhisattvas, but here they're called lords. Uh, and in Tibetan, it's gompo. So we have to be careful not to misunderstand and think that this word gompo means mahakala. This is a common mistake that's made by many, many, many Westerners and some Easterners and some Tibetans. Uh, the word gompo means lord. It means uh, nata or natha in English spelling N-A-T-H-A. Um, so it's uh, the three lords. Now, when it comes to art, it is very common to find these three uh, figures, Manjushri Lokeshvara Vajpani, as uh, sculpture and painting, both. In sculpture, and it was far more common uh, hundreds of years ago. This is not a popular system in the last three, four hundred years. Uh, the majority of sculpture uh, that we find is is all uh, very early. So we're talking um, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th century sculpture. And, and it's not always Manjushri who's at the center. Sometimes Lokeshvara is at the center with uh, uh, Manjushri and Vajrapani to the side. Sometimes it's actually Vajrapani at the center of the uh, metal sculpture. Another uh, characteristic of these sculptures is that they, they can have the bodhisattvas, e the three, either standing or seated. Um, so there's a lot of variation. So it's very interesting. We have we have this uh, all of this art from from an early period of a system that's no longer really popular, and we don't have a lot of modern uh, copies or modern representations of these three to really get a sense of of what's going on with it over time, because it really has faded into the into the past. Um, so. We have some paintings, and also we have many uh, examples of these three, these three lords, that are kind of hidden as secondary figures in uh, paintings. So, they're extremely common in early artwork, whether or not they're the main focus of a painting or the secondary figure. And uh, there's a tremendous amount of sculptural representations, both uh, standing and seated. These are the three lords of the world, Manjushri, Lokeshvara, and Vajrapani.